Hello, my name is Justin Urquhart Stewart, and for those who have uh, watched me before, welcome back. For those who haven't, well, you're welcome. Well, this week, what can we try and talk about? When you look at the news, it does seem somewhat depressing, but all the more reason to actually identify really what's going on. Let me identify here the three Ds. The Ds are debt, default, and deflation. And these are important because they allow us, therefore, to actually try and identify where we should be investing or what's the point not investing. First of all, let's look at debt. There's going to be an awful lot of debt around, particularly from governments. And you have to separate out the different types of governments. Those governments which can actually produce their own debt with their own currencies, particularly the reserve currencies, so the likes of the EU, the likes of Japan, obviously America and the United Kingdom. They can actually produce their own debt quite happily. They can do their quantitative easing, that lovely term which 40 years ago didn't exist, which is a lovely charade, isn't it? Um, because be wary here. Governments are actually playing a rather strange game. It's all about confidence with fiat currencies, paper currencies. You only have to look at some of the currencies. For example, here's our my lovely queen here on a £20 note. And what does it say on my £20 note? It says, I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of £20. So if I turn up at the Bank of England tomorrow clutching this thing and say, um, do you think I can have £20, real pounds, please? The answer is, no, you can't. It's all about an element of faith, confidence. Confidence trick, even. But that's what we need to do at the moment to be able to make sure there's enough money going in. So be wary. Government debt is going to be very difficult. Um, and certainly now we're in a position where we've got negative interest rates. And be wary of that term, too, because negative interest rates can be interest rates which are lower than the rate of inflation. Um, so they're negative. But also, actually, the interest rates themselves going negative. Um, therefore, you effectively having to pay to keep your money uh, in those banks, as we saw in Switzerland, and we're now seeing in other areas, we're now seeing it even in, in the United Kingdom as well. So debt is going to be an issue. Debt also for companies. You know, companies have already got a lot of debt. Good news, interest rates are low. They can service it. But that's going to be rather bad if they've got too much in there. They had, after all, efficient balance sheets, which meant you put a lot of debt in. But also you'll find those companies that will be increasing debt because they wish to acquire other businesses. And that's going to be encouraging because they'll be the ones on the outlook to go and find cheaper assets at a discount. So we need to look for those companies in there. Then also we've got the personal issue of debt. And that's where you have come down to personal financial planning and making sure we manage that debt as well. And that's going to be for us as individuals. Let me move on then to default. There will be defaults. There'll be no doubt government defaults. Argentina, Argentina is a serial defaulter and will no doubt do so again. Why? Well, because they will try and actually try and get people to forgive some of their debt. And certainly in parts of Africa, frankly, we probably should be doing that. Um, but also companies as well. The unacceptable companies will be running themselves into uh, some form of administration and effectively defaulting on that debt. So you don't want to be owning that debt, no matter how high yield it is, if they're going to be defaulting on it. High yield is higher risk, so please be wary of that. Then let's look at deflation. Deflation, now let's be careful here in terms of the actual definition of it. You've got disinflation, which is inflation, still getting bigger, but less of it. So inflation was at 5%, 4%, 2%, 1%, that's still inflation. Deflation is the balloon is getting smaller. Disinflation, the balloon is still getting bigger, but at a slower scale. What that actually then means, actually life then gets more difficult. So what do we actually do? Right, we now have to make sure we're looking for those companies which have got good assets with demand. And we're going to have to find those companies which are going to be sustainable. So where would you find those? Those where you find that demand, it may be power companies. It may be those I like to call the blue stocks, which is bare necessities. I apologize for the pun the technology ones and the green. So put those layers then into your investment decisions and you'll come out then with some interesting small number of companies which actually make it worthwhile. So despite the fact the value returns look pretty low, here are opportunities, but you need to sieve through to actually find the right sort of ones. Good luck, keep safe, and I look forward to seeing you again in the not too distant future. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.